Hello traders and welcome to this market overview video from FoxX for the week ahead commencing on Monday the 14th of May. Going forward we are planning to release a weekly market overview video every Sunday night which we will send to you via email and which we will also post in our online chat room so please do keep an eye out for these upcoming videos. Now before we get into the charts, we first of all just want to let you know that we have recently released several new videos on trade management and also on the wealth crossover indicator from FoxX. You can access these videos via the help tab shown here on our trading platform or via our YouTube channel. As always, your feedback and comments are very highly valued and appreciated. So if you have anything to say whatsoever regarding our videos, our trading platform, our indicators, our signals, then please contact us via the help tab shown here or via our online trading floor which can be found here at www.foxx.ecofin.co. All of our software and our educational content is built directly on the back of your amazing feedback so please keep it coming as we simply cannot evolve without it. Finally, before we go over to the charts, we just want to let you know also that we've got several updates planned for the upcoming days and a couple of new videos in the oven, so please keep an eye out for those. Again, we will keep you in the loop via email. Okay, so let's take a look what's happening in the markets. As you're probably aware, in recent days we've had some very large moves on most of the major pairs and most of them have been buying the US dollar. Historically, the month of May is very strong for the US dollar. It's actually the second strongest month of the year. And this year has proved to be no exception with the US dollar making large moves across the board. Interestingly, all of these moves were accurately forecasted by the amazing wealth crossover indicator. And when we take a look at these same moves down on the one hour time frames and turn on the price action entries, you can clearly see that our price action entries have really nailed these large moves. Here we are looking at the euro on the H1 charts. This is cable. This is the big move down on the Kiwi. Here we're looking at the Swissy. And finally here some great moves also on the Aussie. So as you can clearly see in these examples, one of the very best ways to really leverage the FoxX trading software is to use the wealth crossover to identify a major swing on the daily time frame and then drop down into the H4 or the H1 time frame and trade the price action entries. Okay, so moving on to the week ahead, even though the US dollar is the king in the month of May, we are still likely to experience a retracement or a pullback on all major US dollar pairs, and that is certainly what appears to be happening on the charts in the last few days. Here we are again looking at the euro. Let's draw on the wave. And as you can clearly see here, we have now reached the end of the wave on the daily time frame, and price appears to be moving now to the upside. The big question of course is how far will it go? Well we have got two tools which can help us to determine how far we will now move to the upside. The first of course is the wealth crossover itself. When the two lines cross or the three lines whichever the case may be we will then have a great estimate of the end of the move. If this concept isn't clear to you yet then we would like to recommend that you watch our wealth crossover educational videos which again can be found up here in the help tab. Secondly, we have a nice level of resistance here at approximately 121.40, which price may pull back to before moving to the downside again. So there is plenty of room here to make some money to the upside on this pair in the upcoming week. But again, be aware that in May, the US dollar is the big boss and will most likely get bought again against all major currencies in the upcoming days. Incidentally, here on the euro, as price did begin to turn on the daily time frame, look what happened on the H1 charts a couple of days ago. Let's turn on the price action entries and also the missile tracker line here on the one hour time frame. As you can see, price crossed the MTL line for the first time in a very long time and then pulled back nicely once again to the MTL which also coincided with this really nice little level of support and also produced 
a PAE signal right here and then as you can see price rocketed off to the upside several traders in our chat room did take this trade and made a handsome profit and for me this was the trade of the week last week and a textbook example of how to best leverage the FoxX trading tools for those who are still in that trade it may be an idea to give it some room to breathe as we are experiencing a decent size move to the upside and you probably will have more chance to make profits as price continues moving upwards similar thing on all major pairs in the last few days here we are looking at cable and as you can see we have reached the vicinity of the end of the wave here on the daily time frame and are expecting a nice little pullback to the upside I would say to the area shown here around 137 as there is a nice little level of resistance shown here again we'll wait for the lines of the wealth crossover to actually cross over which will help us to determine the length of this pullback down here on the one hour chart we've got some sideways movement so we're waiting for a breakout and a retracement to this sort of level shown here before taking a price action entry to the upside here we are looking at the GBP JPY and again we've reached the end of the daily wave interestingly here on the H1 charts we did start to get a strong move to the upside bouncing nicely off this double bottom formation shown here but it was cut short by the news from Carney at the Bank of England last week now it looks as though the market has recovered from the news and we can expect some more movement to the upside in the next days again it is advisable to wait for a breakout from this choppy zone shown here and then a retracement before taking any long trades on this pair here on the one hour charts here on the Kiwi it's the same story and this is definitely one to keep an eye out for in the upcoming week we have reached the end of the wave on the daily time frame and are now starting to get some early long signals here on the one hour chart so look for possible long entries and a possible deep retracement to this area here around 7140 now the yen and the Swissy and the Aussie are all very interesting pairs although they have reached the end of the wave notice that the lines of the wealth crossover indicator are very close together and somewhat tangled up which is typically indicative of a very small retracement if any at all and potentially a continued push in favor of the US dollar so for me personally I will be avoiding these three pairs in the upcoming days and finally one of the minor pairs that I like the look of this week is definitely the euro yen long we have reached the end of the wave on the daily and already we have had three very healthy looking green candles so watch out for more PAEs to the upside on all time frames on this pair in the upcoming days as the euro yen continues to push to the upside okay traders we hope that you've found this market overview helpful don't forget that you can stay right up to date with every move in the markets via our online trading floor at www.foxx.ecofin.co this has been a market overview from FoxX